to prove they're in the country legally began applying for Colorado driver's licenses, permits, and IDs today. It's part of a new law called the Colorado Road and Community Safety Act. Carrier News Channel 13's Dana Molina joins us with how it's being implemented. Dana. Jonathan, Heather, five DNVs in the state are issuing these licenses, permits, and IDs. Only one of these is in southern Colorado, the one on Union Boulevard in Colorado Springs. Carla Tejeda has been waiting for this day for 18 years. Oh, I'm feel so nervous. She's one of dozens of people who walk through this door hoping for a state driver's license. The new law lets undocumented immigrants and people who can't prove legal permanent citizenship get licenses like these. They're not valid as a federal ID to vote or get public benefits. But for Tejeda, it's peace of mind. She won't fear driving. I feel like fear. To be, you know, police stop you and uh, be in kind of deportation. To get a license, Tejeda and others have to pass a written, driving, and vision test, pay the fees, and bring all the necessary paperwork, like proof they've lived in Colorado for two years, an ID from their country of origin, and a personal taxpayer number provided by the IRS. They also have to sign a document saying they have or will apply for legal residency. It's very exciting for people. Yesenia Biascochea has been helping people like Tejeda through the process all day. It's really emotional for, for us to see them with their new driver's license or with their ID. Um, and for the people that unfortunately don't bring all of the requirements, it's sad, but um, we're letting them know what requirements that they need to bring for next time. Station number nine. It's easy, it's not, but you have to turn in the book and everything because this, I think they're very nice and they try to help you. The executive director of the Department of Revenue says this is about public safety and about making sure everyone on the road has passed the test. Live in the Newsplex, Dana Molina, KRDO News Channel 13. And to apply for one of these special licenses or IDs, you have to make an appointment by phone or go to the DMV's website. They're all booked through October, but the DMV will open up new appointments every morning. Let's get you